Pure and Impure Substances by kscience.com. In this video, we'll learn about the melting points of pure and impure substances. This particle diagram represents ice. These water molecules are regularly arranged, touching, and they vibrate in a fixed position. This particle diagram represents liquid water. For solid ice to become liquid water, melting takes place. This heat energy heats up the water molecules in the solid ice. The water molecules absorb the energy and they vibrate more. These bigger vibration lines shows the greater movement. These water molecules can now flow around each other. This is because the particles have gained more energy, causing the weak forces of attraction to break. The breaking of these weak forces of attraction allows the particles to move away from each other, causing the solid to become a liquid. Pure ice has a uniform composition. This means the composition is the same throughout. Therefore, ice is a pure substance. Ice is a pure substance because it is made of 100% water molecules and has a fixed composition throughout. The water molecules are the same in every part of the substance. All the particles gain energy in the exact same way. Therefore, a pure substance melts at the exact same temperature. 100 degrees C is actually the boiling point of water, not the melting point. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. This particle diagram represents a mixture containing two different substances represented by the big white circle and the smaller black circle. Although the particles are not in a regular arrangement, this represents a solid. This is an impure substance because it contains different substances where the composition is different throughout. These two different substances will have different physical properties, such as different boiling points. This means these different substances melt at different temperatures. In this example, the white circle melts at 0 degrees C, whereas the black circle melts at 50 degrees C. So an impure substance does not melt at one single temperature like a pure substance does. It melts over a range of temperatures because of the different melting points. We can use a graph to compare how the temperature changes in impure and pure substances as they are heated. On the x-axis is time and the unit is seconds. On the y-axis is temperature and the unit is degrees Celsius. This dashed line represents the melting point, which is the temperature at which a solid changes into a liquid. If the temperature is below the dashed line, this means the substance is in a solid state. Whereas if the temperature is above the dashed line, it means the substance is in a liquid state. This pink line shows what happens to the temperature of a pure substance when it is heated. Whereas this purple line shows what happens to the temperature of an impure substance when heated. Pure substance melts at a fixed temperature because there is one substance which has one melting point. Therefore, the line is horizontal and flat on the graph. Whereas an impure substance melts over a range of temperatures. The graph shows us this because the line is not horizontal on the melting point. It is sloping across the melting point. The substance represented by the white circle has a melting point of 0 degrees C. In this mixture, the white circle will melt first as its melting point is 0 degrees C. Whereas a small black circle will melt second as its melting point is higher at 50 degrees C. Therefore, it's not possible for the melting point of an impure substance to be flat and horizontal on the graph. It is gently sloping to represent the different melting points of the different substances in the impure substance. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions.
The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.